Hello and welcome to Speed Superbikes. Uh, doing an indoor video today because of inclement weather outside. And here we have a really lovely looking sort of classic 1980s sports bike. This is a GSXR 1100. This is a 1996 on an L, uh, 46,000 miles, uh, only five owners from you, which is quite remarkable, say for a nearly 30 year old bike, uh, MOT through till August 2025. And I say, in generally, very good original condition. And also, again, uh, when you look now, uh, for less than £2,000, one heck of a lot of motorcycle for the money. Um, obviously, you have the double over cam, uh, air oil cooled, uh, carburetted motor in these, a real powerhouse of a motor. Obviously, they come in the aluminium frame, aluminium uh, swinging arm. And then, obviously, quite advanced for the day, you've got, obviously, upside down suspension. Um, yeah, so I will go through the bike. Obviously, I know it is a nearly 30-year-old bike, so there is going to be a few bits and bobs here, marks, a little bit of damage on bits and bobs, but nothing untoward uh, for what is basically a very clean bike. So I'll sort of start from the front and we'll go round. Um, so I'll point out any extras on the bike as well, uh, say for a bike which seems mainly original, original paintwork, and I'll sort of point out any blemishes. Uh, first option, obviously, is the, uh, the, uh, the tinted screen on there. Um, obviously then going down to the fairing, which you say is very good. Uh, no major dinks or um, stone chips on the on the headlight cover. I say paint on the front mudguard, very good. Finish on the forks, very good and looks original. Obviously the wheels, I'd say at some stage have been painted uh, or stove enameled and very, very good condition. Um, say even up the front and the radiator all very good. Again, I would imagine the bike will have had some paint at some stage, but uh, if it has been done, it's all been done very, very well. Um, slight scratch on the lower fairing there, obviously probably just where it's been put away or put up against something. Uh, say the odd little mark here and there. Uh, so generally very, very good. Uh, quite rare, you've got the um, frame covers there, which normally go missing. Um, and I say even looking into the engine, all the original coatings on the motor as far as I can see and see very good a little bit of a chip there on the tank uh, looks like obviously it's a replacement exhaust system you've got a micron can on the back and I'd say the front head is probably up too new to be original so probably had a replacement one at some stage and I believe the bike has had a pretty much brand new replacement shock fitted as well there's various new bits and bobs as the bike's gone through. I think it's had the, the rear disc again, looks basically brand new. So we'll see various new parts fitted to uh, get the bike to the standard it is now. Again, with the basic seats in very good condition, nice and clean, no rips, tears or anything like that. tires very little wear on those still got the original chain guard which is uh, unusual they tend to get lost or just removed over time and even got the original stickers on there which again very rare for a bike of this age again just pointing out any sort of blemishes and stuff and marks on the bike obviously a little bit of paint peel on the original casing there but the same from what I can see, it does look like a lot of the original paintwork. A few little bits on the frame cover there. Now on the leading edge of the tank. Going down, all looks quite clean. And that's the only bit of damage I can see on the fairing, which obviously is probably where, it, where the bike's been serviced, that bolt's been over tightened, and there is a crack in the fairing there. But structurally, very sound, it's not going to move, not going to get any worse as far as I can see. Same for the front, very clean all round. Again, the tank again, very good. No major scrapes or dinks or anything at all on that. Clocks all look very clean, switch gear all looks very, very clean. And we'll just open our workshop doors a minute so I can run the bike up.
Obviously, full information on all the bikes will be on our website, speedthrills.co.uk. Uh, you can call for further information on Exeter 01392 211246. And uh, hopefully if you've enjoyed the video, please feel free to give us a like and maybe subscribe. Thanks again for watching.